butter, fresh herbs, and jumbo lump crab meat. Does it get any better? Let's learn how to make homemade crab meat. It's crab pasta time. Hey friends, welcome back. Vince here. Today we're cooking up some delicious crab pasta. I got some amazing jumbo lump crab meat right here. We got some white wine, some lemon, some garlic, some shallot. It's gonna come together beautifully. Friends, if you haven't already asked that you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make new videos on Thursdays. So not only did I include a list of all the ingredients you need below for this dish, but I also included a whole list of optional ingredients if you wanna make a different variant. So what else do you need besides some lemon, some basil, some parsley, garlic, shallot, linguine, crab? Okay guys, it's time to cook. We're gonna start off by chopping up some fresh herbs. Italian parsley and basil to be exact. Then, grab a shallot. Chop that down and remove the skin and give it a good mince. Then, set all that aside on your cutting board and grab a head of garlic. A proper plate of pasta isn't complete without plenty of fresh garlic. Before we make our sauce and cook our linguine, we're also gonna make sure to have some lemon and some parmesan ready to go with all of our other ingredients. It all starts with some extra virgin olive oil and some grass-fed butter. Two spoonfuls should be enough to get us going. Then, throw in those shallots we diced earlier. Before long, your whole house is gonna smell outstanding. After a few minutes, we're gonna throw in our fresh garlic and give it a good stir. And then, he glaze with some white wine. We're gonna immediately hit our sauce with those fresh herbs, basil and parsley. It's time to join the party. We're also gonna throw in some more butter for good measure. Why not, right? Now let's not forget to season our sauce. We're gonna need plenty of salt, pepper, and red pepper as well. And of course, more fresh herbs. And now it's time to finally throw in our crab. Soon our crab meat is gonna absorb all that delicious flavor that we've built up in our sauce. But no, we're not done yet. After we've given our crab about five to seven minutes of cooking in our sauce, we're gonna grab our linguine and throw it right on top. We wanna make sure to give our pasta plenty of time to absorb all the flavor from the sauce perfectly. After we've let everything come together, we're gonna to top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and a little bit of basil right in the middle for garnish. And then it's time to eat. All right, guys, let's see how we did. This looks spectacular. Oh, we got the perfect sauce to pasta ratio. Plenty of crab meat. Mm. Oh, man, that's hot. Let's try our first bite of the crab. Oh, my God. That is just bursting with flavor. All right, let's do a bite now that has plenty of pasta and plenty of crab. All the flavors we have going on here are so well balanced. We got a, just a little bit of heat from the red pepper, delicious fresh seafood with the jumbo lump crab, fresh herbs with the Italian parsley and the basil, a little bit of Parmesan, black pepper, garlic. It just comes together and is delicious. And our pasta is well coated with flavor, but it's not, you know, for how much butter and oil and wine we used, you know, we still gave plenty of respect to the pasta. And it stands, uh, look at that, baby. Cheers. Mm. Thanks for watching. I hope to earn your subscription. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found value from it.